All across the Rose City, festivals and fairs like this weekend's in the Hawthorne neighborhood are made possible by dedicated organizers, vendors, and events businesses. I bet you if you did something outside fun this summer, we had something to do with it on some level. Amy Theberg owns Block Party Barricades, which supplies the roadblocks and signs. We work for um, nonprofit events mostly that are doing any kind of street closures. So from anything from a block party to a street painting to a community festival like Rose Festival, Shamrock Run, things like that. It's been a rocky two years. No events due to COVID, living paycheck to paycheck without PPP funding. She's fought tooth and nail this summer to get her business back up and running. Up until this point, we have basically just been hanging on by a thread. And now she faces yet another obstacle. U-Haul was parked here in front of these trees. After thieves stole a rented van with $10,000 worth of her equipment inside following the Hawthorne Street Fair Sunday. We got a crew to come back here to unload it. Um, the truck was left and then the crew came and the truck was gone. Despite our best efforts of trying to track it down and track down equipment, we have not been successful yet with the U-Haul or the equipment. The equipment Amy does have stored in her North Portland warehouse isn't nearly enough. I have to make those phone calls to all the businesses that are coming, their events are coming this weekend to say, sorry, Art in the Pearl, sorry, First Thursday, sorry, other block parties and street paintings that are happening for Labor Day weekend. We don't have the stuff to fulfill your order. As frustrated as she is, hoping to recover it all as the events season comes to a close, Amy says she's far from the only one dealing with thefts and crime. I just want some accountability and I want things to change so that these events can go forward so small businesses like mine can just survive, let alone thrive. And I want people to feel safe here. It should not be too much to ask. As for that stolen U-Haul, it's 15 feet long with Arizona plates reading AD 15811. David?